Whoopsie, what is your favorite school lunch? Well, this. <laughs> Great question. I think it comes down to the eternal debate of tacos versus pizza. If I had to choose, I guess I'd go with pizza. <laughs> but in an ideal world, both. <laughs> Ooh, how about a taco filled with pizza? Or a pizza topped with teeny tiny tacos? Lunch goals. <laughs> so, which one would you guys rather have? A pizza taco or a taco pizza? Jiggle, snap, story time. Today's story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I was right. So, once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. Wait. Oh, yes. Ah, <sighs> that's better. So, a little girl named... I get it, Goldilocks. <laughs> a little girl named Goldilocks, that's me, was walking by a really scary swamp. No! So scary! Oh, too scary? Yeah! Sorry. Yeah! There. So, I was walking through a sunny meadow filled with puppies and flowers. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and then I happened upon a house. Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I decided to stop and see if they had any snacks. Hello? No one answered. So I just went in. Lucky me, there were some snacks on the table. Three whole bowls of broccoli. Ew. <laughs> oh, no broccoli? Okay, I meant there were three whole pizza pies. Better? Yeah! Awesome! Okay, so I started to eat from the biggest pizza. But it was a meat lover's supreme or something. It had pepperoni, sausages, hamburger, anchovies, mushroom, garlic, and onions. Yuck! Do you like garlic and onions? No! Me either. So, I moved on to the next pizza. It was weird, no cheese at all. It just had a bunch of vegetables on it. Come on, it's pizza. Do you want an all vegetable pizza with no cheese? No way! <laughs> yeah, there's a time and place for vegetables, right? Like on your brother's plate. <laughs> Ew! So I moved on to the smallest pizza. Boy, oh boy, it was just right. Just the right amount of cheese, a few pepperonis, and a dipping sauce for the crust. Mm, delicious. I ate it all up. Yeah! <laughs> then I felt like watching some TV. Well, subscribe. They had some stuff TV'd, so I checked it out. The first show they had saved was a National Geographic special on grizzly bears. <laughs> Too scary. So, I tried the next selection, but it was some show about catching fish. Kinda boring. So, I tried the last show they had TiVo. <gasps> the Muppet Show! It had all the shows with Fozzy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> then I realized I was really, Really sleepy. I decided these nice folks probably wouldn't mind if I just took a little nap. I found a bedroom and there were three beds. Oh geez, I had to make another decision. So I tried the biggest bed, but I climbed up and it was like trying to sleep on a big rock. That bed was not comfy. I tried the middle one, but it was like trying to take a nap on a bunch of cotton candy. Too soft. Well, I tried the little one, and you'd think I'd see the pattern by now, but boy, oh boy, this is just right. Wake up! What? Bear! Oh, oh yeah, I woke up, and there were three bears looking right at me. Run! Oh, kids, you don't run from a bear. You have to make yourself look huge so they'll be scared of you. Line of defense against a bear, make them laugh. Bears love comedy. So what I like to do is find a funny video on YouTube, like the one, Charlie bit my finger, or the dramatic chipmunk. 
or just any funny cat video. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> and those bears turned out to be really, really nice. And we just sat around all afternoon watching funny videos and laughing and eating ice cream and honey. <sighs> So that's the story of me, Goldilocks, and my three new best friends, Barry, Teddy, and Gummy. The end. Hey, let's see another story with the big bad wolf. Today's story is Little Red Riding Hood. It worked. Okay, once upon a time, a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood that's me, was packing a nice dinner to take to her grandma's house. My grandma was sick, and even though I had to walk a mile, I was ready to help my grandma because that's what good kids do, right? I packed up a sweet dinner, liver and onions and peas. Oh, you don't like that? Okay then, fruit roll up some pizza, ice cream, and four Twinkies. Okay, good choices. Now, there's only one good way to get to Grandma's. It's right through the scariest forest you can imagine. That's not scary. Oh, my bad. Better? Yeah. Good. Whoa, but then someone or something snatched my red hood. <gasps> and snatched my basket of delicious snacks. <sighs> I've been robbed. Kids, robbed by a wolf. I said a wolf. And the wolf was wearing my red hood. That's a little girl's hood. He could stretch it out, the darn wolf. And he just looked silly, too. Then he spoke. What is a little girl like you doing all by herself in the woods like this? Going to my grandma's house, if it's any of your business. And it's not, so please give me back my stuff. Aren't you a sassy lassie? Maybe I will go to your grandmother's house and eat her. What do you think about that? Put some sauce on her, maybe some ketchup or mayonnaise, I don't know. Oh no you won't. You're not putting mayonnaise on my grandma. I yelled and I kicked, and but the wolf ran off. And wolves can run pretty fast, even when they're wearing little girl's red coat that doesn't fit quite right. I had to get to grandma's and fast. There was a dangerous wolf in the woods, so I ran. Faster! Run faster? Yeah. Uh, okay. Faster! Okay! Woo! <sighs> We're here at Grandma's house. Let me in, Grandma! There's a dang wolf outside in the woods, and he's stealing little girl's clothes and parading around, and I had a... <gasps> and this time, he's wearing my Grandma's nightgown and sleeping cap. He even had on a pair of her high heels. And he was licking his paws, just like he'd eaten a snack. Or maybe, my grandma, what can I do? He's a wolf. But I had an idea. It was a good idea. I ran, and I ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran really, really fast. Okay. Like a cheetah. Like a cheetah? What's that sound? It's like a clack, 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 clack. Is that the? And you'll understand one day, it's impossible to run in high heels. Then, right there, with his twisted ankle and his belly full of my grandma, he started to get sick. It was really gross. He, he, the big bad wolf threw up. Ew. He threw up all over the place. Ew. He threw up my grandma. Don't worry, she was fine, not a scratch. He threw up all the fruit roll-ups and the ice cream and the pizza and the Twinkies. I don't feel so good. It was gross, but it gave me and Grandma time to get away. We called the police and the firemen and animal control, Dog the Bounty Hunter and everybody we could think of. And I'm happy to tell you the wolf was caught and sold to the circus. And now, every year since, Grandma and I go to the circus when it comes to town just to laugh at the big bad wolf. He doesn't know any tricks or anything, but it's just funny to see a big old wolf wearing high heels. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today. Welcome to Sweets Cafe, the tale of Little Red Riding Hood and the hot poppin' pizza. Well, hello. Oh. Hi, I mean, your wolf shouldn't say anything. 
What smells so good? Nothing. Perhaps someone told you not to speak to wolves when you have a pizza. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Grandma usually locks the door. Hi, Grandma. Well, hello, little red. Hi, sweets. What are you looking at? Hi, Rosie. I'll be right with you. Wait. Wait for it. Here it comes. Wow, is that dough? Sure is. You have to throw the dough up high in the air to make a sweet, licious pizza. You mix it all together and... Ta-da! My famous hot poppin' pizza. We also do deliveries anytime, day or night. No matter how far you are, you get the pizza in 20 minutes. And if we're late, you get a second pizza for free. Who orders pizza in the middle of the night? You know, owls, bats, raccoons, grandmas. Grandmas? Sure, like Little Red Riding Hood's grandma, for example. Little Red Riding Hood? Don't you know the story? Little Red Riding Hood walked through the forest to deliver her grandma a hot poppin' pizza? No way! Little Red Riding Hood brought her grandma a picnic basket. Who has a picnic in the middle of the night? What? In the middle, middle of the night? Of the night? That night? There was no picnic. Little Red Riding Hood brought her grandma a pizza delivery. In fact, it was my famous hot poppin' pizza. But then a wolf appeared. He thought it looked pretty tasty, too. A wolf that likes pizza? That's right. Tell me the story. Okie doke. So this is exactly what happened. Are you ready? Let's go! Pound the table, clap your hands, off we go to magic lands! Stir the batter, lick the spoon, hold on tight, we'll be there soon! Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She kinda looks like me. Now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. She and her grandma were best friends. Is that a giraffe out there? A giraffe? I won! I won! Oh, Grandma! <laughs> One time, Little Red stopped by. Hi there! Are you still open? We sure are! Sweets Cafe never closes! We're open 365 days a year, 25 hours a day. 25 hours a day? What's the extra hour for? To finish what I didn't do in the first 24 hours. So, what can I get you? My grandma is sick, but she's really craving some pizza. Well then, you came to the right place. What is she like? Garlic? Anchovies? A grandma slice? That's a New York thing. Pineapple, please. Hawaiian, I like her style. Wait for me here. I just gotta go to Hawaii to get some pineapple. I'm coming right back. Would it take a lot of time? Cause grandma is waiting for me. No, just kidding. I have plenty in my kitchen. Here's my famous hot poppin' pizza. Thanks, sweets. I'm off to go through the very spooky, kind of scary, slightly haunted forest to get to my grandma's house. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going through the very spooky, kind of scary, slightly haunted forest at this hour? Um, yes? It's getting late. Instead of walking, why don't you take one of my scooters? I'll make you an official pizza delivery girl. Cool. There's just one thing. A sweet pizza has to be delivered in 20 minutes or less. Or else, the customer gets a second pizza free. That's the sweet pizza promise. So hurry up. I'll try my best. Is pizza expensive? Sure is. It costs a lot of dough. Good luck! And remember, watch out for wolves. If you bump into one, don't speak to him. Really? Why? Well, because you can't trust them when it comes to Sweets Pizza. Okay. Thanks, Sweets! Hmm, what is that delicious smell? Time to do something big and bad. No scooters allowed. That's weird. Sweets didn't mention anything about this. Oh well, I guess I'll walk. I could use some exercise before Grandma and I eat this whole entire pizza anyway. Well, hello. Oh. Hi. I mean, your wolf. Shouldn't say anything. What smells so good? Nothing. Perhaps someone told you not to speak to wolves when you have a pizza. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid. I am not that kind of pizza wolf. 
I'm more of a spaghetti wolf. Don't like pizza at all. What a relief. I'm so sorry, spaghetti wolf. Eat. Hiya, just checking in. How's the delivery going? I'm okay. I ran into a kind of creepy wolf while I've been walking through the woods, but turns out he's a nice spaghetti wolf, not a pizza wolf. So everything is fine. Spaghetti wolf? Never heard of one of those. And you're walking? What happened to the scooter? I saw a sign. It said no scooters allowed. Hmm, that's suspicious. Suspicious? Eat. Time to go. Bye. That's weird. Well, I'm almost at Grandma's house. I'll be there soon. Okay, good, B but hurry up. Remember the sweets pizza promise. Delivery in 20 minutes or less, or the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking. I'm on my way. Spaghetti Wolf, is that you? I know what happens. The wolf goes to the Grandma's house and eats her. Not exactly. There's a ballerina, and a policeman, and, well, you'll see. So far, so good. And I think Grandma's home is just around here. Step to the side, please. Step to the side. Uh-oh. Who said that? Hi. Who are you? You're driving way too fast. Give me your driver's license, please. What? I'm walking, not driving. Are you making fun of an officer of the law? Oh, no. I'm sorry, officer. What do you have in the box? Did you pack it yourself? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, it's pizza. Are you trying to fool an officer of the law? You know, I've got a whistle. Of course not. Okay, okay. I think I'll have to ask you to give me that suspicious box. Please hand it over. It could be dangerous. Um, are you sure, officer? Because my grandma's waiting for me, and... Ah, you're trying to say no to an officer. <clears throat> well... <laughs> Your ears are strange, officer. Ah, you're trying to insult an officer. Uh-oh. Eat! Hey, me again. Just checking in. How's the delivery going? Okay. I mean... Not very okay. I ran into a kind of strange policeman while I've been walking. It turns out my pizza is very dangerous. The pizza? My pizza? Did you say policeman? Yes, a very hairy one. Sorry about that, officer. Hmm, that's suspicious. Wolves are hairy. Suspicious? Wolf? Suspicious, time to go. Well, I think he ran away. Okay, good, but hurry up. Remember the sweets pizza promise. Delivery in 20 minutes or less, or the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking, just a few minutes left. I'm on my way. Sounds like the big bad wolf will do anything. I'm telling you, wolves love my hot poppin' pizza. And a one, and a two, you can do it too. A three, and a four, please join me some more. <laughs> Ooh. Ow! Are you okay? All good, come, you can join the lesson. Let's join the other girls, shall we? What girls? Enough chit chat, time to dance. Oh, I do like dancing. The girl with the red hood, please come here. Me? Yes, you. How can you be a ballerina while holding that big box? You can give it to me. The box? Um, it's for Grandma. She's waiting for me. Didn't I mention that the great big solo on Saturday's performance is yours? Really? It's mine? Well, of course, you're my very best student. Now, give me the box. <laughs> hey, teacher, look. That's not supposed to happen. Arr, give me the box. Uh-oh. Just checking in. How's the delivery going? Two minutes left. Hmm, okay. I mean, great. I just got a wonderful ballet solo. What? Did you say ballet solo? Yes, the ballet teacher with a tail just told me. Did you say ballet teacher with a tail? Yes. Hmm, that's suspicious. Wolves have tails. Suspicious? Wolf? Yikes, gotta go. Well, I think he ran away. Have I mentioned the sweets pizza promise? Delivery in 20 minutes or less, or the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking. I'm on my way. 
special delivery. That's weird. Grandma usually locks the door. Hi, Grandma. Well, hello, little red. Pizza's here. <laughs> Grandma, have your hands always been that big? Oh, the better to hold a slice, my dear. And Grandma, have your teeth always been that sharp? Oh, the better to chew the crust, my dear. Hey, Grandma, have you always been so furry? Oh, the better to get the sauce and the cheese stuck into my face so that I can save some for later. <laughs> My dear. Wait a minute. You're not my grandma. You're that wolf. Get back here. Get over here. I want my hot poppin' pizza from Sweets Cafe. Gimme, I'm hungry. Get over here with that hot poppin' pizza. I want that cheesy crust. Oh no. It's been more than 20 minutes and I haven't delivered the pizza to grandma. I'm late. So what does that mean? It means... I have to deliver a second pizza for free. That's the sweet pizza promise. You're surrounded. What did you do with my grandma? I haven't seen her. Okay, how about a trade? We'll give you this extra pizza if you give Little Red back her grandma. Okay, deal. <gasps> Sure am. Where the heck is my pizza? And garlic knots. Okay, give me the extra pie and I leave you alone. Ha 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 ha. Sweet pizza. <coughs> Adios. <laughs> oh man, that's no fair. I wouldn't say that. I had a feeling something suspicious was going on. So I may have put some extra ingredients on that pizza, just in case. Who put so much hot sauce in the pizza? I guess he didn't like extra hot sauce and jalapeno peppers. And that's how Little Red and her grandma shared a delicious late night pizza and lived happily ever after. The end. At the end of the day, a wolf really just loved my pizza. It's sweet delicious. More hot sauce, please. Ah, the wolf, what's he doing here? It's okay, Miss Booksy. He said he was sorry. He's just here for my pizza. Hmm, okay. Enjoy your pizza, Wolf, but I'm watching you. I see you put on a lot of hot sauce. Once you get used to the hot sauce, it's hard to go back. All right, maybe the big bad wolf just wanted pizza. I get it. <laughs> that story was so awesome. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss more stories with sweets. Bye. Hi there, kids. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading Little Red Riding Hood. Come on the adventure with me, and you can help me defeat the wolf and rescue Grandma. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood, that's me, was packing a nice dinner to take to her grandma's house. My grandma was sick, and even though I had to walk a mile, I was ready to help my grandma because that's what good kids do, right? I packed up a sweet dinner, liver and onions and peas. Oh, you don't like that? Okay then, fruit roll ups, some pizza, ice cream, and four Twinkies. Okay, good choices. Now, there's only one good way to get to Grandma's. It's right through the scariest forest you can imagine. That's not scary. Oh, my bad. Better? Yay! Good. Whoa, but then someone or something snatched my red hood. <gasps> and snatched my basket of delicious snacks. <sighs> I've been robbed. Kids, robbed by a wolf. I said a wolf. And the wolf was wearing my red hood. That's a little girl's hood. He could 
stretch it out, the darn wolf. And he just looked silly, too. Then he spoke. What is a little girl like you doing all by herself in the woods like this? Going to my grandma's house, if it's any of your business. And it's not, so please give me back my stuff. Aren't you a sassy lassie? Maybe I will go to your grandmother's house and eat her. What do you think about that? Put some sauce on her, maybe some ketchup or mayonnaise, I don't know. Oh no you won't. You're not putting mayonnaise on my grandma. I yelled and I kicked, and, but the wolf ran off. And wolves can run pretty fast, even when they're wearing little girl's red coat that doesn't fit quite right. I had to get to grandma's, and fast. There was a dangerous wolf in the woods, so I ran. <coughs> Run faster? Uh, okay. Okay! Woo. We're here, at grandma's house. Let me in, grandma! There's a dang wolf outside in the woods, and he's stealing little girl's clothes, and parading around, and I had a... <coughs> and this time, he's wearing my grandma's nightgown and sleeping cap. He even had on a pair of her high heels. And he was licking his paws, just like he'd eaten a snack. Or maybe, my grandma, what can I do? He's a wolf. But I had an idea. It was a good idea. I ran, and I ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran really, really fast. Okay. Like a cheetah. Like a cheetah? Yeah. What's that sound? It's like a clack, 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 clack. Is that the? And you'll understand one day, it's impossible to run in high heels. Then, right there, with his twisted ankle and his belly full of my grandma, he started to get sick. It was really gross. He, he, the big bad wolf threw up. Ew. He threw up all over the place. <laughs> he threw up my grandma. Don't worry, she was fine, not a scratch. He threw up all the fruit roll-ups and the ice cream and the pizza and the Twinkies. I don't feel so good. It was gross. But it gave me and Grandma time to get away. We called the police and the firemen and animal control and everybody we could think of. And I'm happy to tell you the wolf was caught and sold to the circus. And now, every year since, Grandma and I go to the circus when it comes to town just for laugh at the big fat wolf. He doesn't know any tricks or anything, but it's just funny to see a big old wolf wearing high heels. And that's the end. Little Red and Grandma lived happily ever after. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Time for Storytime games. Here we go. Let's play Spot the Difference. Little Red Riding Hood. Can you spot all the differences in these scenes from the story? Here we go. Faster. Run faster? Yeah. Uh, okay. here at grandma's house. Let me in grandma, there's a dang wolf outside in the woods and he's stealing little girl's clothes and parading around and I had a... <laughs> Hold on, did you see something? Let's rewind. What seems different to you? Look at this, this wasn't here before. All right, let's watch another scene. Here we go. And he was licking his paws, just like he'd eaten a snack. Or maybe, my grandma, what can I do? He's a wolf. But I had an idea. It was a good idea. I ran, and I ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran really, really fast. Okay. Like a cheetah. Like a cheetah? What's that sound? Pause. Did you see something? Rewind. What seems different to you? Look over here. This color is different. All right, let's watch another scene. We called the police and the firemen and animal control and everybody we could think of. And I'm happy to tell you the wolf was caught and sold to the circus. And now, every year since, Grandma and I go to the circus when it comes to town just to laugh at the big fat wolf. He doesn't know any tricks or anything, but it's just funny to see a big old wolf wearing high heels. Wait a minute, did you spot the difference? Let's watch that again. What seems different to you? Right over there. How did this get here? That's the last one. Did you find all of them? Nice work. 
Come back to Cool School for more stories and games with me, Miss Booksy. Bye!